Predicted uh, after four cycles in uh, power play, I've got to wait four fucking weeks. It's not four cycles, it is four weeks. So I've got another five days to go. Ask me how pleased I was when I found that out. Um, so, um, as I am killing time, uh, we are in the GAN system. Now, whether that is named after a uh, character from Blake 7, or if it's named after uh, Salisbury's uh, premier uh, Scottish Commodore 64 game reviewer, frankly, we may never know. But what I do know is that if it is named after the... Uh, Blake 7 character, then rather ironically, GAN is a federation system. Uh, more importantly, it has conflict zones, so I can try out this, well I say try out, I know full well how, how this thing works. But uh, this is my most recent ship, which uh, as you can see, is named the uh, People called Romanes, uh, they go the house. Uh, the good thing is, the conflict zone is not very far away. Uh, so let's head straight there. Uh, there's a loadout that uh, this ship has used to be considered quite extreme, quite over the top, because it gave uh, people who had this loadout as many problems as, uh, well, yeah, it was as problematic as it was good for uh, combat, nevertheless. Alright, so we're going to the high intensity one, which is right in front of us. That planet is an Earth-like, scan it for 650,000, so it's worth well, mapping it, you know, so it's worth doing. Here we go. So anyway, yes, uh, the, the loadout um, was considered extreme, but uh, with the uh, engineers, one, once you have fully engineered this thing, uh, what I'll do once I finish here, we'll go back to the station and I'll show you the loadout. Um, yeah, it means that you don't have many problems at all. weapons and then we just gotta wait for everyone to fucking show up. Now I will be fighting on the side of uh, Gans lot. Uh, there will be, uh, well the enemy uh, faction is uh, an independent lot so bollocks to them. Here we go. Yeah, Barbara crew. So we'll fight for the other lot. There's an anaconda. Let's get my proper loadout uh, selected. Here we go. Welcome aboard, Commander. So two beam lasers, class three, four plasma accelerators, one class four, one class three, two class twos. How well do they do? Well, we're going to find out. This is only an expert anaconda, so it's not going to be that difficult, but uh, it's attracted his attention. So, uh, anaconda shields, of course it helps if I actually hit the fucking thing, but yeah, anaconda shields do go down quite quickly now. Every single one of my uh, plasma accelerators has a different experimental, 
so um, they do actually send enemy ships a bit haywire. We've got all that lot combined. Yeah, that's going to do a lot. Some cunt has been firing on me. It's only a fucking eagle. And now the capital ship is turning up. Someone's just fucking flown into me. So we haven't seen it, but the capital ship is just shown up as you can hear. I think that might have been him nudging me actually, I'm a bit close to it. Yes, it was uh, the capital ship nudging me, so there it is. Right, finish with that fucking piss ant thing. Right, Python, a lot of these ships will now be attacking the uh, capital ship, but uh, I'll just go after the. Uh, Another one down, keep going, Commander. I'll just keep going after the uh, decent ships in the area. This one has prismatic shields. You can tell by the colour. Now I'll get a fucking lock on him again. Of uh, course, pythons are a bit more manoeuvrable than the. Uh, Anaconda that I dealt with, but nevertheless, still had no problem taking out his uh, shields there, even if they are prismatics. There's a few other ships who are attacking him as well. So he's really about to have a bad day. If this is an Alliance ship, what the fuck is it doing out here? Perhaps I should have said uh, this loadout is effective if you were any good at combat. I felt that one. Thing is, if you don't do it quickly enough, um, they'll run. And one of my uh, plasma accelerators has a uh, phasing sequence, which to be honest I think is a bit wasted because of that total firepower, their shields don't tend to last very long anyway. Just 
get closer to the uh, capital ship. Try and actually protect it. So, yeah, so one of them has uh, the. Uh, Phasing sequence. One of them has the one that sends the tu their uh, turrets and gimbal lasers. It confuses them. Uh, one of them has the one where it breaks their lock. And the other one, I think, oh yeah, it's the one that confuses the sensors. So uh, that's that cut there. Another Python. One also looks like he's got prismatic shields. It does. Let's see. It looks like the, uh, yeah, the, the um, capital ship has no one defending it. So although these are all pissant uh, ships, I should do something about it. Using this many plasma accelerators against a small ship like uh, Cobra is not very good because Cobra is just far too maneuver. This loadout is much better against the larger uh, vessels. Right, so that's that fucker there. Right, this cunt. It's a fucking eagle and there's not a lot left of it. Right, some more ships have just shown up including an anaconda. I'll have a bit of you. an expert anaconda, but... Because it does help that the, the uh, capital ship is also firing on it. doesn't help that I've just <laughs> flown right into its line of fire. So I'll do this gun instead. Attention, he's he's done it. Well whatever ship that was that showed up, it was a fairly small one I think. Time for a shield self bank, I think. Fucking Cobra is getting on my tits so at last, he's down. Right, now, that fucking Python is now miles away. Uh, what else have we got? Not much else, it was him or a fucking uh, 
Eagle. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, more ships are showing up, but none of them are anything impressive. Oh, that fucking python is nearly down. It is down. Alright. Next, there's a fucking uh, Asp Scout. And they're now running. Well, I won't get this cut before you fucking please. I'll have a go. Yeah, because he's now fucking running. Oh, what a fucker. He's down to 3% and, yeah. 1%. Oh, yeah, okay, he's down. Well, that's it. Now, what materials have we got around here? They're all over the place, but they're all so fucking far away from me. Well, let's get something anyway. What I really need is the uh, conductive ceramics or uh, like these. Uh, there we go. The polymer capacitors, but I can't see any of them around. Uh, fly them too quickly. And they're about to fucking go anyway! as it was about to go in, you fucking shyster! <laughs> and they're too far away for me to be bothered. Alright, so I didn't get any uh, materials from it. What did I get in the way of transactions? 574,000. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, that's that's the conflict zone done with then. Um, I mean, nothing else is going to happen here until I bugger off and come back. But seeing as the station's only 24.5 megameters away, I may as well restock uh, you know, rearm and, and what have you. But yeah, you may notice. No heat issues, um, no power issues, no nothing, and that's despite the fact that this has two class 3 beam lasers and four plasma accelerators. Two class 2s, one class 3, one class 4. Uh, so prior to uh, engineering, a ship like this, you'd be overheating just about every time you fired and you would have to be doing some serious power management. So, all in all, it works. Do you think I can actually get through here without scraping my way? Yes, I fucking did. Oh. That's probably the most impressive thing I've managed to do yet in this thing. This vid. <coughs> Until I did that.
Right, we'll uh, go over the hangar and that way I can uh, show you the uh, loadout that I have. The only drawback is that if you, uh, yeah, restocking uh, costs are a bit on the expensive side. If you use up all of your ammo, so um, yeah, all four plasma accelerators, uh, both of the missile launchers that I've got, and all of your uh, uh, shield cell banks, uh, it's just shy of 100,000 to restock everything. <laughs> I keep clicking on the wrong fucking thing. Right, there we go. Incoming message. That's probably my reputation going down with someone. No. So again, netcoms think I'm all right now. So this is it. This is the uh, Romanes Aunt Thomas. Uh, so well. Core internals, no surprises really. So military grade composite, which I have. Um, what did I do with it? Modified it. Uh, so grade five blast resistant with angled plating. So explosive resistance is pretty good, or at least it is with everything else I've done. Uh, Power plant, I mean, obviously everything here is uh, A-rated. Uh, power plant, uh, grade 5 overcharge. I didn't actually have to do that yet, but I think I will. Because this is one of those ships that is going to have um, uh, prismatic shields once I finally get them. So, overcharged power plant, uh, grade 5, thermal spread uh, experimental, so the heat efficiency is, well, slightly better than it was. Uh, 7A thrusters, of course, they have uh, grade 5 dirty drive tuning with drag drives experimental. Uh, also, no surprise, freight shift drive, which I again clicked the wrong fucking thing. Has uh, increased range with uh, mass manager, and that result is with this loadout, I can do uh, just over 40 light years. Uh, life support, I keep the grade A. I know a lot of people um, just stick grade D's on, but the thing is, with grade A and then um, the grade 5 uh, lightweight, I mean, the mass of it is only 3.28 tons. Well, I mean, that's on an anaconda, it makes f next to fuck all difference whether you've got uh, a grade A at that sort of mass or a grade D. Well, e even with a grade D with grade 5 miscellaneous lightweight, it will make fuck all difference to your speed, to your maneuverability, to your jump range. But of course, you get much uh, longer if your um, cabin is destroyed. So yeah, instead of these seven and a half minutes, you got 25 minutes, no problem. So I don't know why people keep using the uh, uh, grade D. So the uh, power distributor that has grade five weapons focus with cluster capacitors, so it means that the recharge rate on uh, engines and systems is awful, but uh, the weapons capacity and recharge is fucking good. And when you've got a, a weapon loadout like this, you need that. So yeah, there was, there was never any doubt it was going to be uh, weapons focus for that. And then finally the sensors, again, lightweight scanner, grade 5. Um, so it's got the mass down from 160 to just 33, or 34 really. But. So target scan angle has narrowed a bit, not a hell of a lot. I can certainly uh, deal with uh, the amount that it has been reduced. So that's the uh, core internals. 
Uh, optional internals, so 7A shield generator. This has not been modded at all because, as I say, that's going to be replaced by a 7A uh, prismatic. When it does, it will have uh, thermal uh, resistance uh, added to it and the uh, high cap experimental because uh, I can't show you at the moment, but uh, yeah, my thermal. Um, resistance is pretty low at the moment but that's purely because I've not fitted the uh, the mod to the shield so uh, shield cell bank I only ever take one I know plenty of people take like two three sometimes more but yeah I only ever take the one uh, so this has grade four specialized shield cell bank with uh, boss cells um, uh, experimental I don't always use the uh, boss cells experimental, but I prefer it, so... Fuel scoop is not uh, modded, because there's no point. So I have 128 tonnes of uh, cargo. Guardian Frenzy Drive Booster. Uh, the first whole reinforcement package is in the military compartment, so that is Grade 5. That has Grade 5 kinetic resistance with layered plating. Uh, experimental. Um, yes, okay, I fitted a planetary vehicle hangar. I, I really don't know why. I can't see me ever really taking this ship down to the surface, but... Well, if I do, I've got a planetary vehicle hangar, so... Uh, so yeah, the class 4 Frasier Drive Interdictor, I haven't modded it because I'm not really that keen on any of the mods for the Interdictor, so I just don't bother modding it anymore. I've got a couple of ships with the Interdictor and it has been modded, but I mean, I'm even considering removing the mods from those, so yeah. Uh, next uh, grade 4 whole reinforcement package that has uh, thermal resistant hull reinforcement grade 5 obviously uh, with layer plating uh, experimental and then uh, the 2D uh, that has a blast resistant hull reinforcement with angled plating and then the uh, detailed surface scanner which of course has the grade 5 expanded probe uh, radius. So that's the optional internals. Um, before I do the uh, hard points and uh, the uh, uh, utilities, um, yeah, the shield health is currently 2571 and kinetic and explosive resistances are great, but yeah, shield thermal resistance is awful 21.3. Um, okay, it's a lot better than it would be, but not good enough, I don't think, so, yes, once the, uh, prismatics are on, they'll get the thermal resistance, uh, mod done to them. Uh, Armour Health is, I'm quite happy with this, 2,775, uh, 31%, uh, kinetic resistance, 33, uh, thermal, 41.5 explosive, yeah, quite, uh, quite happy with that. Right, let's go back to uh, the uh, outfitting. Uh, utility mounts, I've got one heatsink launcher because sometimes I do need to use my shield cell banks while I'm not firing. Uh, that's had the uh, heatsink ammo capacity, so it's uh, got up to three. So that means I have four uses of the heatsink launcher, so I can use it as for every single time that I uh, use my... Uh, uh, shield cell banks, if need be. But you notice uh, the the power usage. You see what I mean about it. At the moment, I really don't need um, the grade five overcharging on the uh, power plant. But at the same time, you also saw I didn't have any problems with uh, uh, you know overheating or anything, so I'm not suffering. Anyway, the other seven. Um, uh, utility mounts all have shield boosters um, and it's a combination of uh, heavy duty shield booster with force block um, 
and some of them have uh, resistance augmentation so here's another heavy duty force block they're all grade 5 obviously so again heavy duty force block Force one uh, again, heavy duty force block. So, this one is uh, resistance augmented with super capacitors. I think uh, all of the resistance augmented ones have the whoops, uh, have the uh, super capacitors fitted. That's the one I already showed, wasn't it? So, uh yeah, so again, resistance augmented, super capacitors, experimental. And then the last one. Yeah. So that's the utility mounts, and then with the hard points. So uh, we'll start with the two uh, large beam lasers. It probably won't surprise anybody. Um, so, grade 5 uh, efficient weapon with thermal vent they both have that you don't actually need to have thermal vent on both I just do it because let's face it it's doing quite enough damage as it is and um, yeah so I just don't see the point in changing one I mean if I was exceptionally bored I might give it a try but yeah I'm not at the moment so yes the two beam lasers have the uh, same uh, engineering now the plasma accelerators they all have uh, again the grade 5 efficient weapon so this one has the target lock breaker so yeah the um, enemy ship you're firing on loses its uh, target lock on you this one has the phasing sequence so that's the one that uh, you know some of the damage is able to get through the shields bit pointless that one really I, I think um, I mean it's <laughs> the shields collapse pretty fucking quickly so mm. uh, this one has dispersal field experimental so this one yeah this is the one that confuses all of the uh, gimbal and turret hard points on the target and this one has the dazzle shell so uh, temporarily reduce targets sensor acuity upon impact so uh, yeah as well as doing a hefty amount of damage to uh, the ship that uh, these uh, hit they also basically send the whole thing fucking haywire uh, then um, just as a, a final sort of backup thing uh, and the fact that there are no class 1 plasma accelerators so I've got uh, seeker missile racks in the two class 1's both have lightweight mount because I couldn't think of anything else to put on them uh, this one has the uh, drag munitions and the second one uh, I can't actually remember what I put on the second one oh, overload muni uh, munitions so there we go so that is the loadout then. That is what this ship does. So, fuck it, let's go back and uh, kill some more uh, enemies. Uh, so far, this has not been the most uh, difficult of conflict zones that I've uh, come across. Now that I've said that, you bet your fucking life it's going to be a cunt this time. I can't be bothered to go after that one, dude. It's a Type 6, and I know I keep saying never waste the opportunity to take out uh, Type 6s. Uh, I can't be asked to deal with a fine. Frameshift drive charging. Yes, I know it's only a, a whole 200, but. Four, three, two, one, engage.
Right, let's see what we get this time. So again, we'll fight uh, for again at Netcons, so fuck it up. Yeah, it's a great fucking start. Right, a load more have turned up. Good to have you None of them are any good. So, uh, a master fucking ASP scout is the uh, most powerful enemy ship here at the moment. See, there are federal corvettes, but they're all friendlies. deal with the uh, uh, chaff, so, what a fucking ass. I could do without that fucking uh, Corvette constantly getting in the way. things I will want to take out. Alright, so that's that cut down. Alright, wars ain't corresponding. This one's in a python. Won't be you. Catch his attention. So these pythons are always using uh, prismatic shields in the conflict zones. This one isn't doing a fucking thing. This is not the most difficult uh, battle I've had. He's just fucking running. Seriously missed from that range. I think I did. Right, next war zone correspondent is in a fed gunship. Again, this one is not doing very much. Again, I fucking missed him with the uh, large plasma uh, accelerator. There we go. Alright, that 
Yes, I cut down. There's one more. There he is. Asp Explorer. Not going to be the most difficult. Uh, Another one down. Keep going, Commander. Of uh, enemies to uh, take out this one. Again, he's just not fucking doing anything. Ship is a fucking Alliance Challenger. Who's this who's fucking firing on me? Too many favors. I mean, so it's how easy uh, this complex zone is this time around. The uh, capital shit hasn't even fucking shown up. It isn't needed. Anaconda in the area. He's been destroyed. He must have been a friendly. So, Alliance Crusader. The only ship in the game that I haven't actually piloted myself. Some other fucker who comes up and starts firing on me when I've uh, picked my target. target shields because plasmas are just as effective against uh, shields as they are against hulls, so uh, yeah, you don't want, you don't even wait for the shields to go down before you use these. Same with railguns. I have a ship that uh, has a similar loadout to this for railguns instead of for plasmas. But that's a uh, fair to loss, it's not uh, an anaconda. Because the big problem with railguns is you don't get anything like as much ammo as you do with the. Uh, um let's use a shield cell bank. My shields are getting a bit low because I keep ramming this fucker or I'll just fucking keep ramming me. My shields came online very fucking briefly. And my 
unless you was do the next to fuck all when I use all that short so man rather. regular one. The next most powerful ship is a fucking cobra. get a hit on him with the fucking uh Anaconda, yeah, I'll have a bit of you. Only an expert, but still. Always enjoy taking out enemy anacondas. Especially when I can make their shields last. Next to no fucking time. There we go, the shield's already down. Shield cell bank charge left. So, enough of this fucking ramming, bollocks. Right, that's that cut down. That's, uh, is that the ship that was firing at me, that Python? Yes. long at all. This one is taking longer, or this, this uh, conflict over on this battle, uh, because yeah, there are just not as many decent ships in the area. Again, this fucker's got prismatics. Again, they didn't seem to last very long. Oh, 
Because he's even showing me what a real pilot can do. Uh, not run out of power while uh, trying to uh, fire through uh, close accelerators. Alright, so that is me out of shield cell, thanks. And that's him uh, out of life. This is that python that was running away. Looked like he turned around. Okay, we'll see if I can finish the job. It looks like he's going up against the uh, Corvette that's in the area. So he's a smart one. He ran away from me to take on a Corvette. Down. Uh, uh, yeah, one of those next. powerful ship, but it still has decent uh, firepower. Alright, I've got no power to fucking... Uh... Don't tell me this was the ship that was firing at me. Fucking piss ant eagle. He's going to run away now. Or not. Right, let's see if I can actually get him with uh, plasmas. Fuck you, as soon as I say that. I'm 
mist. And that mist as well. If you were out here, Mark. Uh, that's that cut down. Yeah, that was a big old explosion for one of them. It must be larger ships than I thought. Uh, oh, this crusade is elite. This one might be a bit tricky. Or at least it will certainly take a fair few hits. Looks like there's only about one or two more enemy ships needed to be uh, taken out before um, this battle's won. running away. Looks like he's not making any attempt to turn. my uh, shields too many favours, no running into it, but I'm hoping that uh, this battle is almost won. There we go. You're on a roll, Commander. They're retreating. Great work, Commander. You really made a difference. Plenty of uh, materials that I could do with. Fuck knows how far away. Yeah, I'll have some of them. Definitely need those. But the amount of modding that I need to do with when I've got 12. Uh Yeah, with the uh, 12 um, prismatic shield generators, I've got a lot of modding that I'll be doing, which means uh, I need a lot of fucking materials. These ones I don't need so much, but they're close, so fuck it. These high wakes, yeah. I don't think any of those are materials. And those, yeah, those materials are about to fucking disappear. That is it. So how much did I make there? 658,000. Still not brilliant, but oh well. Better than a kick in the nuts. Let's 
head off back to uh, Veratano City. Four, three, two, one, but, uh, well, anyway, there's the uh, demonstration of the uh, loadout. So, as you can see, uh, although it used to be quite problematic um, before engineers were added, now a loadout like this is uh yeah perfectly doable and um if you are a downside better with uh fixed weapons than i am then you can do some serious fucking damage with a loadout like this i'm sure there are probably some ships that are, are better than the anaconda for such loadouts as I say, I've got a, um, a fed launch that has a similar sort of loadout, a similar idea. Uh, it has one huge beam laser and four rail guns. But, uh, yeah, maybe something along the lines of, you know, keep the huge uh, beam laser, but put... Um, yeah, obviously make sure it has a thermal vent uh, experimental. And then put four uh, class 2 plasma accelerators on it. And obviously the aim, you've got to be better you know, aiming plasmas than you do with the uh, rail guns. But if you got that uh, sorted out, then you shouldn't have too many problems because... Uh, yeah, the plasma accelerators, you get far more ammo. You're not going to keep running out and, uh, you know, I then, then having to either leave or synthesize a fucking hell of a lot, seeing as you have to synthesize ammo for a uh, forum. So, yeah, I think uh, plasma has probably worked better than the railguns. If I get bored enough, I may do another video with uh, that fair to lance uh, and show how that does. But given how good I am in uh, small ships, I don't think it's going to be all that impressive. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that is uh, quite enough for this video. Uh, two conflict zones cleared out, well I say two, it was the same one done twice, so there you go, 78,900 for uh, that one, also refuel, so I might stay here a little bit, well there you go, wasn't that fun, yeah I thought so, now go away. <laughs>